Ready? So Wrangler is this idea that I've had for a while now. It follows the story of Howard and his mother. After the father dies in the family, um, they're trying to reconnect through the father's old possessions. And this is what, this was one, this one of them in the story. Um, so I've always been a Jeep person. Um, and I've always been inspired by the image that Wrangler presents to everyone. Um, so I've, I wanted to create the story about this family and how that car is such a central part of their identity. Um, and I wanted to take that and, f and look at it and go, okay, now what happens if you take one of those people out of it? What are the after effects and how do those people get along from there? Okay. So the cool thing about Wranglers is that they, they came out in the 40s, but they really haven't changed a whole lot since then. They, they, they were originally developed in 1940, there for the, for the World War, and then after the war, after the war ended, all the, all the military guys still loved the Jeep so much that, they, that Willys continued building them for their farm equipment, for all these GIs that finished the war. And then from there, their kids wanted them, so which is when this, this 1977 came along, and that's when they started marking it as this big off-road car where, with their famous catch slows and only in a Jeep, where it was supposed to take anyone anywhere and do anything. My dad had a 2001 Wrangler, um, and that some of my the best memories I've ever had come from that car as far as my childhood goes. My dad and I were just out one day doing running errands or whatever, and we came across this off-road park. My dad just looked at me, he's like, you want to go check it out? So we did. We off-roaded for the whole day, and it was so much fun. And this is a brand new Jeep. And the first thing we do when we get out on the off-road park is we flip it on its side. <laughs> we had to run out and go, get, go find some random guys who are in a 4Runner to come help us um, roll it back over. And of course, my dad tried to buy me off with some candy. He's like, oh, don't tell your mom, don't tell your mom, or whatever. And the first thing I do when I come over and tell my mom, I'm like, dad rolled the Jeep. Crazy things like that. We've taken it over in back roads in San Diego. Um, and, it's, and we've driven it through Dirt Devils in Tucson and we took it camping, we took it everywhere. It was like, it's one of my favorite cars that we've ever had. So the Story Wrangler for me has been a work in progress for over four years now. As soon as I thought of the story, I knew immediately that that's what I, want, what I wanted to do as my senior project. Jeeps have just been, Jeeps and car culture and family and all of these things have just been such an important part of my life over these years that when I finally thought about the film and thought about where and how and and what this story meant to me, I just couldn't think of anything else that I could do that would have been this meaningful. The problem is I need help in order to get this film done. I really want people to help contribute and be a part of this family and be a part of this film because I know how important this is to me and I want this film to be as important to the audiences that watch it. Our Indiegogo program is gonna be running for two weeks. We have all kinds of different perks and features as thank yous based on how much you're, you're willing to c contribute. Thank you all again for sitting and watching this video, for th sitting and even looking at this project. Um, Wrangler will be out soon, summer of 2019. Uh, I hope to see you there. Okay, here we go. There we go. Hey!